who have made it the first day as we kick off the Mount of Olive moment. Because this is the most powerful moment that it is very hard to hear what we are going to teach from today up to Friday in a Sunday service. Just as Jesus sacrificed himself to climb the mount for prayers, prayers belongs to people who understand what sacrifice is. You cannot pray if you don't understand what sacrifice stands for. Prayer is sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Kando na yale mambo yote ufanyika kanisani. Maombi ndiyo dhabihu ya kujitolea. Kwa sababu maombi hayapendwi. Praise the name of the Lord. And what believers don't know is that prayers is the powerhouse for believers. Maombi ndiyo nyumba ya nguvu ya waumini. But people don't love prayers. Watu upenda kurukaruka sana. Tunasherekea ushindi wa Bwana jina la Yesu ni ngome imara kurukaruka watu wanapenda lakini watu hawapendi maombi and let me tell you as a believer you should emulate Jesus Christ he is the author and the finisher of your faith so you are faith is based on Jesus Christ. Why? When Jesus was ascending to heaven, he said, I will never leave you alone, but I will leave my spirit with you so that when you receive the spirit of God, you stand near your help. Wakati uko na roho mtakatifu umekaribia msaada wako sana. Are we together? Wakati uko na roho mtakatifu umekaribia msaada wako zaidi. Kwa sababu Yesu alipokuwa anaenda He served God his father in this world. Na akajua ya kwamba mimi mahali naenda ni naenda katika utukufu wa baba yangu. I am heading to the glory of my father. But in Jesus heart and that is where I want to place you from today. May you fit in the heart of Jesus. In the heart of Jesus he knew well that there is mankind and I was born. I am the reason for mankind. And as I am going, Damatigawe ruine we joy. Datigadwa kwa kudu kuru. Because Jesus lived in this world. Are we together? Yesu haku tuwacha mahali haku ishi. Kwa hivu alielewa zile shida zinapitiwa na mwanadamu katika ulimwengu. And that is why the coming of Christ was brought in a manner that a mankind comes in. Yesu alizaliwa kama mwanadamu. Na ndiyo maana mariamu alibeba mimba ndiyo watu wa amini yako na mtoto. Leo mwanamuki ya kieza tokelezea hapa. Na akuje na mtoto na hatujamuona na mimba tutaita polisi. Kwa sababu hatukumuona na mimba. Kwa hivyo ndio iwe ishara ya kwamba Yesu amefika, alipitishiwa mwanadamu, lakini uku wake ulikuwa wa kiroho. Are we together? 
Jesus had to come as a human. So that human can understand the coming of Christ in the world. Kwa sababu mwanadamu ni mtu wa mashaka. Kwa hivyo lazima Yesu angeletwa kama mtu ili mtu na mtu asikizane. Praise the name of the Lord. But the difference between us and Jesus was the supernatural creation of God in him. Ule uungu wa kiroho na ukuu wa Mungu uliokuwa ndani ya Yesu, huo ndio tofauti yetu na Yesu. Lakini mambo mengine yalikuwa kama ya mwanadamu, kutembea mwanadamu, kuongea mwanadamu, kudiretu na watu mwanadamu, kula chakula mwanadamu. Ili aweze kutangamana na mtu kwa sababu alikuwa ameletwa duniani ili aweze kusambaza neema ambayo mwanadamu hangesambazia mwanadamu mwenzake. Is the name of the Lord. Ile neema mwanadamu hangepea mwanadamu mwingine, Yesu akabeba hiyo neema ailete. Na ndio maana alipokuwa anakufa, Yesu akasema, "Sitawacha mwanadamu peke yake. Nitamwachia Roho Mtakatifu ili awe msaidizi wake. Na ninataka ushike hapa vizuri." Holy Spirit is a clear spirit of God that resided in Christ awaiting human for mercy. Roho mtakatifu ni nguvu takatifu za Mungu zilizo zilizo hisi ndani ya Yesu zikigojea mwanadamu azichukue uungu uingie ndani ya mwanadamu. It is through Jesus Christ that Holy Spirit came to us so that when we get filled godliness fits in human wewe haukuwa mtu wa Mungu Are we together Haukuwa mtoto wa kifalme wewe wagireirwe ni gukua Kiria giatumire utore muoyo ni tondu Jesu atwikire gikuo Nigeza we ugae moyo. The death of Jesus Christ brought life in mankind. Sasa umeshika. Listen to this. Before we climb the mount of olives. Jesus Christ lives in you through Holy Spirit. Hmm. Listen. Jesus Christ went to be with his father. The Bible clearly states that right now Jesus Christ is seated on the right hand of the father. Nataka usikize hapa. Maandiko yanasema naye Yesu ameketi katika mkono wa kuume wa baba yake. Now, nyinyi mko hapa mnauliza, na Yesu anaishi aje ndani yangu? Hii hauwezi isikia Sunday service. Watu hulala. Hii usikizwa na wale watu wamejitolea. This is not for simple Christians. This is for people who understands the powerhouse in themselves. Jesus ascended, alienda. Na maandiko yanasema ameketi katika mkono wa kuume wa baba yake. Now a Christian ask himself or herself a question. And pastor, where is Jesus in me. Now Jesus lives in a human kind. Lives in a Christian's life through his Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. You are the way you are spiritually. 
That is why it is called spirit. You are the way you are because you received Holy Spirit from a going Jesus for a staying man. Ulipokea roho mtakatifu kutoka kwa Yesu anayeenda ili ubaki na roho mtakatifu asaidie mwanadamu atakaye baki. Kwa sababu Yesu alijua hii dunia vile nimeienda huyu mwanadamu hatatoboa bila roho mtakatifu. So Jesus received Holy Spirit from God for his survival in the world when he existed. Jesus ahirwa roho mutheru ni Ngai nigetha umutaithie gutwikania guku. Tondu kundu guku ni kuritu muno. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nikio Jesus aretu. Akareherwa mutumia agithalia. Yesu analetewa mwanamke mzinifu. Wakati mwanamke aliletwa akapiga magoti. Sikiliza vile Roho Mtakatifu ufanya kazi. Unajua watu ufikiria Roho Mtakatifu nitakaa hivi, niwaangalie, nipanue mdomo, nifanye moto itoke. No. Who is Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is the life of Jesus Christ that was given to us as a breath of life from him ni nguvu za Yesu alizoziacha kama pumzi yetu ndani yake na hizo ndizo nguvu ambazo zinatuhimiza kutenda wema kuongea wema kusema wema kutembea wema without holy spirit you cannot imitate what Jesus did because Jesus used Holy Spirit to do whatever he did he did in the world Kama hauna roho mtakatifu hauwezi kufanya mambo yale Yesu alifanya kwa sababu aliyafanya kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu Na ndio maana akatuachia roho mtakatifu kwa sababu alijua Mungu baba yangu aliniweka roho mtakatifu ni mtumie duniani hii. Na ndio maana Yesu akasema before niende acha niwaachie roho mtakatifu. Kwa sababu ya nini? Mahali mimi ninaenda simuhitaji niko katika utakatifu. Kwa hivyo mwanadamu anayesalia yeye ndiye anahitaji roho mtakatifu amsaidie kutoboa hapa. Huko niko litu. Yesu analetewa mwanamke mzinifu wakati aliletwa watu wakampared kwa sababu nia ya mwanadamu ni mwanadamu mwenzake aibike Nia ya mwanadamu ni mwanadamu mwenzake ajifunike uso akitembea kwa barabara Lakini nia ya Kristo ni tuwe na uhuru wa kutembea kama tumesimamisha uso kwa sababu ya nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na ndio maana akatuachia Roho Mtakatifu na akasema whoever that is in me is now not under any condemnation when you receive Jesus Christ you get out of all blames because the spirit of greatness has come upon your life Sasa nimeona umeanza kujika When you receive the Holy Spirit unaondolewa katika darasa ya hukumu that is why mimi wanawaambia hii ni kanisa bila hukumu kwa sababu unapopokea Yesu Kristo unaondolewa katika hesabu ya watu wa kuhukumiwa because the law of Christ brought life and freedom but the law of mankind was to kill and destroy praise the name of the Lord lakini sio kusema sheria za kina Musa hazikuwa zinasaidia zilikuwa zinasaidia because Jesus was bathed Jesus was first bathed 
The idea of Jesus Christ was from the Old Testament. You remember? And now from those days, Jesus came with a new law of mercy. With a new law of grace. That is what Jesus brought. That Moses said, kill this woman. The law of Jesus is let him or let her live. Hiyo ndiyo tofauti ya sheria ya Musa na sheria ya msalaba. Musa ni kwamba tukipata huyu mama amengoa huyu jicho na yeye tunangoa. Lakini sheria ya Yesu inakuja ukinigonga hii na kupatia hii ingine unatosheka unajiendea. Yaani Yesu in short alikuja kutuambia vita si vyenu. Vita ni vyangu. Niwachieni vita. Praise the name of Jesus. Roho mtakatifu alifanyika dhabihu sasa ya Yesu. Yesu alikuwa dhabihu ya baba yake. Jesus was a sacrifice from God. But Holy Spirit became a sacrifice of Christ to man. Dhabihu ya Mungu ilikuwa Yesu. John 3 for sema vizuri for for God so loved the world that he his only begotten so Jesus was a sacrifice of God to man Mungu ndiye alipenda ulimwengu sio Yusufu sio Mariamu mama yake Mungu ndiye alipenda ulimwengu akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee hiyo ni dhabihu alimtoa kwa nini ili atakaye muamini asipotee mbali apate ufalme wa milele na milele that means Christ came with power that defied death Yesu alikuja na sheria ambayo iko na nguvu juu ya kifo kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha when you receive Jesus Christ you receive more life than what you could have enjoyed without him in your life Yesu alikuja na uhai ndio kama wewe ulikuwa ufikisha miaka 40 ukimpokea una receive the abundance of life and Jesus came with a life that we will use here and even when we shall die we will use that life in eternity so that means Jesus came to stop life Yesu alikuja kutia sahihi ya kwamba mtu akinipokea ataishi sasa na hata katika umilele huyo mtu ataishi People who are in Christ will enjoy this life and the afterlife. Jesus is with you today. And even in the river of death, he will cross with you. The best thing about Jesus faithfulness ni kwamba hata kuacha. Just the way he did not leave you alone. Alisema mimi nimeenda. Lakini ndiyo ni kuache hapa. Sitakuacha peke yako. Nitakuachia Roho Mtakatifu ili awe anakusaidia. Why did Jesus leave the Holy Spirit behind? Why? It is because when Jesus was traversing the whole world, his helper was the Holy Spirit. Na sasa mahali ameenda, yeye hatumii Roho Mtakatifu kwa sababu already ako katika umilele wa baba yake. Kwa hivyo akaona Julius ndiye anaacha duniani. For example, tuseme ni kitu kama gani? Tuseme leo Pastor Martin amepata visa ya kwenda Amerika. Sasa unataka kuniambia Pastor Julius, Pastor Martin ataweka baka makoti zake zile mzee kwa bag. Ataweka maviatu zake kwa bag ati nimeenda Amerika. Hata anaweza chukua vitu zake zote awachie Julius kwa sababu anajua Julius ndiye anahitaji hizo vitu nchi ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo Pastor Martin akiitwa Amerika hahitaji ile gari yake Amerika ke something. Huko atapata magari mengine ya huko. 
kwa sababu kule ameenda anahitaji. Roho mtakatifu aliachwa kwa sababu tunamhitaji hapa. Yesu kwenye alienda ni umilele wake. Sasa imeingia. Siniliwaambia whoever will miss this will miss everything. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, Holy Spirit was left by Christ to us. So that, listen this carefully. So that he can guarantee us that the relationship between us and Jesus is real. So, you are in a real relationship between Christ, Holy Spirit and God. Because the ladder to God is Christ Jesus. And now the helper of mankind is Holy Spirit. Are we together? Najua watu wengine wanashindagwa Roho Mtakatifu ataingilia wapi katika maisha yangu? Roho Mtakatifu ni msaada wako. Unajua the arrangement of God up to Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit is this one. Wakati Mungu aliumba dunia, yeye ndiye alikuwa binafsi anaongea na mwanadamu. Paka hapo tuko pamoja. Mungu alikuwa anakuja anaongea na Adamu yeye mwenyewe. Anamuita Adam. Adam, Adam anaitika. Wanapata kikao na Mungu binafsi. Adam yeye mwenyewe akapatiwa bibi na Mungu. Na hapo mama muombe sana tukifika kwa mlima mnainua mikono zaidi yetu. Sababu nyinyi ndio mlihengesha huyo mwanadamu. Wakati alipewa mtu uhusiano wake na Mungu ukakosana. Kwa sababu yale mambo ambayo Mungu alipenda because God nyinyi hakuna kitu kingine kitafanya mpoteane na Mungu. Munapoteanangwa na Mungu ukienda kando na sheria zake. When you break the law that is when mtakosana na Mungu. The Bible says sin is a result of breaking the law. Wakati mlikosana Mungu aka akaondokea mwanadamu kidogo. Lakini kwa sababu hangemaliza na mwanadamu katikati ya Yesu Kristo na yeye akaweka manabii akaweka mitume wale walikuwa naambiwa watembee nyikani wakisema tayarisheni njia kwa sababu atakaye kuja ni mtakatifu kutushinda hata hatufai kuguza kamba za viatu zake nyinyi wanadamu ndio watu hatari sana nyinyi nyinyi wanadamu itika kilage uji ya mwana kuongea mukachinja hawa watu mukachinja mitume mukachinja manabii mukachemusha na nyungu kwa sababu mwanadamu hapendi mtu ambaye anamwambia ukweli na kama kuna kitu mwanadamu hapendi ni mtu anayemwambia badilika uachane na dhambi mwanadamu hapendi hiyo hata siku hizi injiri hampendi ya, 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 ya dhambi hata wakati tulikuwa tunaomba hapa sauti ilikuwa juu sana lakini wakati nimesema tutubu dhambi maombi kaenda chini lakini ukiambia watu itaneni juu mbinguni Mungu atukumbuke he baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo niko hapa unikumbuke lakini maombi ya kutubu dhambi watu hawapendi mambo ya kuambiwa kutubu dhambi na wale mitume walikuwa wanaambia watu na manabii badilikeni tayarisheni njia zenu kwa sababu yule mtakatifu hapo njiani anakuja mkashika ka kungea kupika na nyungu kupika na mawe Mungu hakumaliza na mwanadamu the best thing about our god he will never finish with human until his mission and reason is accomplished Mungu akumaliza na mtu. 
Mungu akaangalia akaona I cannot let mankind go I love them I called them by my name I created mankind and I said when I created everything I looked at everything and said wow it is beautiful I cannot finish beautiful things and beautiful people Katikati sasa ya mitume akaleta Yesu Kristo kwa dhabihu yake na ndio maana maandiko yanasema kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda hata akamtoa mwanawe kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha the way you are today ha, the way you are seated today you are that because God loved the world you are that way because God loved the world because when he loved the world he gave out your son because of you he gave out his son because of your salvation you are serving a very valuable salvation I am an asset bought by God for God. Mbia mwenzako gharama yangu ni upendo wa Mungu. His love became, became your life because when he loved the world, he introduced Jesus to you. When he introduced Jesus to you, he introduced eternal life in your life. When God loved the world, he introduced life. Jesus means life because the Bible says I am the true, I am the way, and I am the life. So God, when he loved the world, he introduced life into you. So even when people think that you are dying, tell them no. I have life in me. God is in me. Jesus is in me. I share godly life because he loved the world for life. Now, when Jesus came, kama Yesu angejua, kama Yesu angejua, hange hubiri mababa ya kutubu dhabi. Angefurahisha mwanadamu angekuwa uhai mpaka sasa hivi. Na ndio maana unaona wachungaji hupitia vita kwa sababu wanasema watu watubu dhambi. Watu hawapendi kuambiwa hivyo. Watu wanapenda kuambiwa vile wanataka katika masikio yao. Watu wanataka kuambiwa endeleeni na uzinifu. Endeleeni kulewa pombe. Endeleeni kuvuta bangi. Endeleeni kupiga umalaya. Endeleeni kuibiana wanaume. Endeleeni kuibiana wanawake watu upenda kuambiwa hivyo but on this altar i will always speak about jesus christ the resurrection life and the repentance and the forgiveness of sins atakaye sikia kunikatakata shingo anikatakata hiyo ndio gharama ya wokovu wa watu wa Mungu always speak jesus ongea tu kweli wacha wakutukane Wacha wakudharau. Always speak the truth. Huwa mimi nawaambia ukweli inaweza kuwa hapa na ziambiwe zikimbie Eldoret zikiwa na uongo. Uongo itoke saa 12. Na uongo ikiwa nakuru ndio ukweli iko hapa ikifunga viatu kamba. Hapa. Na ninakwambia within some few minutes uongo itapitiwa na ukweli timboro Lies cannot go far Hubiri ukweli ukose pesa sababu nyinyi mkiambiwa uongo ndio mnatoanga pesa Wacha ni hubiri ukweli nikose pesa Mungu hata nikosea chakula Wacha nitaingia the road stop Nichukue unga pili hiyo imenitosha kwangu. Lakini sitakudanganya. Adenikutishe na kifo hapa. No one can take your life apart from God who brought that life in you. 
Sasa unatishwa hapa unaambiwa nyanya yako anataka maisha yako. Apeleke wapi? Ako na nguvu gani ya kuchukua? Kama mtu hajaweka uhai ndani ya kitu, hawezi chukua huo uhai. You cannot take life out of something that you never put life in it. It is God who is responsible of this life. Because he is the one who brought life in it and also sacrificed life for it. Yesu aliletwa kama dhabihu ya uhai ndani ya mwanadamu. Kwa hivyo hata kesho mtu akikuangalia akwambie sasa unakaaje mwambie sitaki kujua kila najua cha maana ni kwamba aliyefanyika uhai wa milele ako ndani yangu aliyefanyika uhai